Lagos State Police officers have been charged to ensure they do not violate the rights of citizens while carrying out their duties. This was stressed at a workshop organized for officers of the Rapid Response Court in Lagos. And senior correspondent Ivy Kano reports. According to a report by the Nigerian police, over 100 police officers are still undergoing internal disciplinary action at the Lagos Command. Five of these are being detained at the homicide section of the State Criminal Investigation and Intelligence Department for their involvement in extrajudicial killings. These actions have received condemnation by members of the public and caused an outcry in social media. The police is concerned about this bad press and decided to organize this workshop to address these issues. Like how to de-escalate a crisis and take total control without putting anyone in harm's way. Now the organizers of this workshop will notice to take into consideration the fact that everybody who is attending it here must wear the face mask and also have their hands sanitized. Also, the crowd was about 20 and they ensured that the officers understood that there are consequences for their actions. Commissioner of Police in charge of Federal SAS, who cited the protest in the United States, said caution is the word as officers may not be able to control the outcome of their actions. Can you quantify the trauma that the 50 are members of the family on that road? Is it possible? So the most important aspect of every police service is prevention of crime. Other speakers say while funds were needed to reposition the police, officers were charged to take control of their anger as they bear arms. You must also look at the peculiarity of our society. We have quite a number of people who are not respecters of the law in this society. Somebody is holding a stick, um, demonstrating without any um, any arms or, or, or agitation. Why should you respond? There are so many ways you can respond. You can use water cannon to disperse people. You can use pepper spray. For me, accountability is the key. You should understand that your action or your inaction has the capacity of causing a collateral damage. Let's take the, let's take the case of that American police officer. That director. It was just one person and three others that was that were aiding and abetting, and we have seen the consequence. The collateral damage has done. Uh, they have been taught um, today how to disescalate um, crisis to ensure they use their hands instead of using their firearms. And they have been taught again, reminded of uh, the uh, first order 237 when police officers can deploy their firearms. The officers were charged to always put the safety of Nigerians first in all that they do. Ivy, Kano. TVC News, Lagos.